guys, this is Jessica and welcome back to my channel. This will be our last Preptober video for the month of October. Um, and I actually don't have too much to share with you about prepping because my own prep process has unfortunately stalled. Um, I am still struggling with uh scenes <laughs> instead of just vibes and feelings for my novel um but that's okay because i'm actually going to be a nano rebel this year and not shoot for the full fifty thousand. so i think i can still make my word count goal with what i have prepped for the story so far um so this is going to be just a little chatty video um i'll share with you what i want to accomplish during november and then I have a couple other things to show you guys. Um, so first off, so like I said, I'm going to be a rebel and I am not going to shoot for the full 50,000 words because I think that burns me out and then it takes me several months to recover. So ultimately, I think I can write and finish the first draft of this story faster if I shoot for a lower word count in November. So basically what I'm going to plan to do is break that out in two thirds um, so that hopefully the full first rough draft will be take only three months. Um, so that's about 16,000 words for the month of November. Um, so that is going to be my nano word count goal. Um, and then my other goals are to finish the second draft, um, my revisions and my edits for Sometimes Love Ain't Enough. Um, I know I've talked about this before with you all. Um, it needs to be ready to go by the beginning of December. So I really need to crack down and get to work on that book. Hardcore. <laughs> but that should be pretty easy during the month of November because, um, Everything I need to do for the girls of fall should be finished and I can kind of move that project off my plate. Um, and then my third goal for the month of November is to try to build a sustainable writing habit. Um, I don't know exactly what that will look like yet. Um, I'm still working out the details of what that goal looks like. Um, I know I'm not going to try to do a write every day habit because I've tried that before and it doesn't work out. Um, so I need some buffer and some flex time there for when things go wrong and life gets in the way or, you know, the baby won't go to sleep or won't stay asleep. And then my nighttime writing is completely ruined and blown out the window. <laughs> so there goes my writing routine, uh, totally smashed the smithereens. <laughs> so we're going to try to work on something a little bit different that allows for a little bit more, um, flexibility in the routine. Um, so those are my November goals. Um, and then I also wanted to show you guys, I got, if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it, but I got the, my proof copy for the girls of fall. Oh, there she is. Let me put her on this side and <laughs> block the strange light from the window. So there she is. Ta-da! Um, so basically I need to go through this one more time. Um, I like to read it at least one more time while it is in, uh, physical form just to catch any lingering typos or formatting issues, um, stuff like that. Um, so the next step, so I actually do need to get, so this is the back, this is not actually the back. <laughs> Um, so I need to follow up with my cover designer to get the whole wrap done. Um, but she needed to know the spine length. So she needed to know how many pages it was, um, which is another reason why I needed to go ahead and get the proof copy done. Um, so that all should be finished up here in the next couple of weeks. Um, and then hopefully here soon, I will be able to announce the official release date when you all can get this in paperback and ebook across all your favorite retailers. Um, so there she is. Um, and she turned out really, she turned out very beautiful, I think. <laughs> very beautiful, very nice. Um, so that's what's going on with the girls of fall. And then um, 
I went ahead, so I've already bought two planners for the 2022 year, um, and I'm not sure either of them will work for what I need. Um, so I went ahead and bought the book launch planner. Um, hide in the sun. <laughs> which was created by um, indie author Mandy Lynn. Um, she is over here on YouTube as well. Um, it has a lot of good resources in it, but I don't think it is going to work for me and what I use my planners for. Um, but there's a lot of good information in here, so I think it's a good resource. Um, I do want to kind of do a whole review video on this um, to let you all know a little bit more about it. Um, so stay tuned for that because I'll do that and um, give you all a little bit more information if you are interested in the book launch planner. The other planner I ordered is not here yet. Um, it should start shipping in November. Um, so hopefully I will have it next month and I can take a look at that. Uh, take a look at that um, and see if it will work. It is also a planner specifically for authors um so we'll see if i can use that or if i still might need to use my own two planner system um then the last goodie i got um i decided i'm not going to do rewards for myself for nano this month um just because i like to reward myself all the time um so this is a new um Writers Helping Writers, so it's a series of, this is a whole series of kind of like craft books, um, specifically for writers. So this one is brand new and it's called The Conflict Thesaurus, A Writer's Guide to Obstacles, Adversaries, and Inner Struggles, Volume 1. Um, so hopefully there will be a Volume 2 that I can purchase as well. Um, so I'm hoping to go through this and see if it helps me a little bit with the issues I'm having with plotting out my, you know, project. Um, because coming up with the, like, I know what the conflict is, um, but coming up with like scenes to move the story forward is kind of where I'm stuck at. <laughs> so I'm hopefully that this brings some ideas, um, to help me move it along there. Um, and I think I have almost all of these so far. Um, and I do find them very helpful as writer's resources and, you know, they're good things. You don't have to read them cover to cover, um, although you certainly can because there is good information in like uh, the front and back before you get to um, like the guide portion um, because it does help, you know, kickstart some ideas like if you get stuck. Um, so I do, I do like these as a writer's resource, um, because you don't have to read the whole things and you can go exactly to, you know, the index is great because you can go exactly to the section that you need, um, and then refer back to it anytime you, uh, want to. Um, so that's about all I have for you guys today. Um, I know it's not much, but I didn't want to let the last week October pat of October pass without giving y'all an update of what's going on. Um, I think I'm going to try to do some nano vlogs in the month of November. Um, I can't, I don't think I want to try to do a vlog every day because I just don't think my days are going to be that interesting <laughs> that anyone wants to see what I do all day, every single day. Um, but I do want to try to do a little bit more vlogging and a little bit more writing vlogs and stuff as I work on my goals for November. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then definitely stay tuned for more info and the official release date for the Girls of Fall coming very, very soon. All right. Um, so if you like my content, definitely like and subscribe and let the YouTube algorithm know that you like my content. Um, but other than that, that is it for this time, and I will see you next time. Bye!